Hello everyone, it's Duckfairy07. Today I'm playing Jund Assault Loam again. Since my last video of this list, the deck has really taken off, uh, mostly thanks to the player Karate Dome, which did well in multiple challenges with it. Uh, as I said it before and saying it again, I think this list is very good and it's I think it's actually better than the regular Jund list or the Jund list using the One Ring. Uh, so also the second thing is Seismic Assault is very good with the One Ring. The card advantage uh, you get with the One Ring works great with the Seismic Assault and you can turn all those extra lands into damage which is just phenomenal. Also 3 life from the Loams, 3 Ren and 6. Uh, so Renan 6 has fallen out of the meta and basically I I would say this is among better Renan 6 uh, decks at the moment. So uh, we also have Inti there, uh, Ragawan, Bowmaster, Shieldred, uh, all powerful threats that can take over the game easily. Uh, Bosejus and Forgotten Caves uh, interact greatly with uh, Inti, so every time you cycle this for one mana with Inti on the field you also get uh, the exile card from Inti and you can uh, get that land back with the Vrenen 6, then repeat this uh, process again and again, also not to mention that Seismic Assault, uh, assault is like insanely synergistic with Inti. Every land you discard, you get a card to play with Inti. And once you uh, get that on the field, it's, it gets really crazy. So Sokenzan, also another example. Uh, also uh, Exiles card with Inti. So a lot of uh, land interaction with Inti, which is like extremely nice in a deck with three left from the Loams and Brennan 6. Like Inti is very important piece of this deck. And also I played various uh, Assault Brews in the past, uh, those of you who follow my channel know it. Uh, had Teamer, uh, Junt Variants fr and Gruul Variants from long ago, but like Inti really changed uh, some uh, power level of this deck and it's really important for the build and really strong in this deck. Okay, so that is it. Uh, so uh, t I have Teamer, I have a Junt and also like posted like some creativity uh, assault lists uh, recently that I'll be trying soon too. And yeah, that's it for today. So I only had, uh, I had problems with my account. So I on uh, only, I wasn't able to play like for uh, three, four days. See this gap like 24th of January, didn't play much, uh, had problems with my account. So uh, I was not able to brew lately and uh, yeah, okay, so I'm now back. We can now in time for new edition and hopefully I get to do a few more assault lists before uh, I start with MKM brews. Okay, so first, first game I was against a Titan. Cycle case on turn one. Uh, bring back Wooded Foothills, and then my opponent has uh, Urza Saga on the field, passes the turn, doesn't do much in the starting turns, I get to, to cycle another land, play Inti. Next turn I have, in next turn I have like uh, uh, the One Ring, and but also opponent goes for Amulet plus Dryad, which is just insanely good with my uh, Molten Collapse here. Okay, so I do the Descend, uh, kill the Dryad and Amulet of Vigor with one card. This is just like extremely, extremely good. Uh, I start attacking with Inti and next turn I can go for the One Ring and yeah, a turn after that a lot can happen. I have already three bolts in my hand if I find a Seismic Assault. I have like lethal next turn and yeah, here it is my opponent concedes. So let's check out game two. Okay, so let's see the sideboarding plan for this one. Trimmed on some cards like two bowls, two Ragawans, uh, Bowmasters, one Shattered, uh, fit in uh, some artifact uh, uh, enchantment removal from the side. Uh, so the only difference from my last video is that I ditched the Ancient Grudges. And uh, yeah, Ancient Grudges would actually be like really fine here. But yeah, uh, got uh, replaced them with some other options, like I added two Cursed Totems instead. I definitely missed the Grudges in this matchup, but I have the Bosages, I have Tear Sunders, I have Blood Moons, 
uh, stuff like that or second molten collapse a lot of useful stuff but as you can see here I was mana screwed and yet yeah, then I had definitely had some chance here, opponent was under the moon, uh, I forgot to play the Ragavan uh, here, uh, opponent has the Boseju to take care of uh, Blood Moon, so I actually uh, got to play the Orcish Bowmaster with this mana I had. Opponent uh, doesn't have much, just a Dryad, so this was the reason why I decided to go um, to play a bit more, try to top deck something relevant, but yeah, as soon as my opponent finds the Titan, this game is over. I decide to just put my uh, creatures on the field this turn, and yeah, after they uh, cast the pact, I decide to concede. Uh, Mana Screw uh, got me too hard this one, so let's check out the game three. Okay, I got the Tear Asunder now, I also had the Molten Collapse, so like two good uh, hate pieces from the sideboard, I keep this one, opponent starts with amulet. Uh, I had options like I could use the Molten Collapse too here or Tear Asunder, I decided to go for the Tear Asunder, hold the Collapse. Collapse, as you could see in game one, Collapse can be really crazy sometimes. Okay, here I discard Inti. <clears throat> And play just play the loam, get the extra land. Opponent here finds the one ring. They didn't play much before, but yeah, like they're already on four mana and tapping with one ring, that is definitely a problem. So I go for the Inti first. Uh, I know that uh, I can't play the cards, but yeah, I want to actually wanted to play the Blood Moon this turn, but I find uh, the one ring with Inti, so I change my plan. I go for the one ring instead. Opponent doesn't do much, just goes for the second ring, and yet this was enough for me to stabilize, and now I was able to put a lot of good stuff on the field, the Blood Moon and the Seismic Assault on the same turn. This means I can go, uh, yeah, they have to get rid of the Blood Moon first, but also I'm uh, doing the life from the loam when I untap. So this will be a problem for my opponent. They go for uh, the one ring. I do one seismic assault ability in response. They have protection from everything, but I do the inti ability, play the ragavan, play the life from the loam, put a lot of lot of uh, lands in my hand, and uh, yeah, I have ten damage here, so I'm very close to lethal. Yeah, actually with the one ring next turn, this is already lethal. But yeah, opponent here goes for the dryad. They get the mana and have the Boseju, so they uh, succeed to do uh, like Otavara, uh, bounce my Inti, leave me with nothing in hand except, uh, in nothing on field except Ragawan, but I have like Life from the Loam on the field, Seismic, uh, so that uh, even if they kill the Seismic I have second one in hand, so yeah that is uh, lethal. A win against uh, Amulet, so yeah, that was uh, the one. Let's check out uh, match two. Having access to three Bosages is really good against them, especially when you have like Vren and Life from the Loam in your deck. Uh, Inti uh, does a lot of card advantage when unchallenged, like like against these in uninteractive decks, like. Uh, like Titan. Okay, so in the second match I was playing against a Seismic Assault deck. My opponent was playing uh, yeah, the uh, Creativity uh, Assault list, which is also kind of uh, getting popular right now. Opponent uh, has the Seismic Assault, uh, kills my Inti, And also kills my Vrenna 6. In response, I do the Boseju thing, so I get to exile the Bowmaster. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. I get to play another Inti, but opponent has another removal and another Seismic, which is bad news for me. But here I get to play the One Ring, uh, get the uh, uh, protection, attacking with Orcish Bowmaster. And yes, now I'm doing the thing, drawing a bunch of cards there, so... 
opponent will have a hard time right now even if they get the life from the loam or uh, archon because yeah the one ring is uh, very hard for them to deal with here i go for the bow masters they discard two archons deal, deal additional two damage and opponent concedes so that was game one let's check out the game two Okay, so in game two, let's check out the sideboarding plan against uh, John Creativity. So I trimmed, uh, trimmed, uh, trimmed the Ragawan, trimmed the Sheldred, trimmed the Molten Collapse, uh, one Forgotten Cave and one Life from the Loam, added in the third Boseju. Also like adding Boseju and uh, Blood Moon. I think I did this only in game 2, I, I, I left Blood Moon out in game 3. Most of their stuff is red anyway, but... In my experience, when I played against Amulet and Tron, uh, having both Boseju and Blood Moon was fine, you just decide to use one and uh, don't use the second one or whatever. So here I had the life on the loan plus seismic assault, but my opponent was able to kill my seismic assault in response to life on the loan. So I didn't do um, any value with uh, assault or damage. But I got uh, Shellred on the field, uh, lightning bolt if they try to go for the creativity. I have a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, some lands in hand I can discard to Inti. Yeah, so maybe I should have should have gone for the Inti first here. That was probably like the better play, and I also accidentally skipped uh, attack phase, so I didn't uh, play the attack phase. Uh, I didn't play Inti before attack phase accidentally again, and now my opponent finds a seismic assault. They have light uh, life from the loam in the graveyard. And this is like very hard situation to get out of. Like every fetch, uh, they get another dwarf token. Uh, they can discard it to the assault. Yeah, so impossible to win from here. And yeah, unless I of course find something very good. But I soon can see this one. Just a bunch of hands in my hand. Opponent has the lethal. So that's it. Let's check out game three. Yeah, as you can see in game three. I put Blood Moons back to the sideboard. I just want to be try to be aggressive uh, as possible in, when playing first. Present all my threats. Here I decide to go for the Vrenon 6. Uh, since I, because I have Seismic Assault in my uh, hand, uh, if I go for the Vrenin 6 first, I will have more lands in my hand to do more damage. And yeah, here I uh, definitely was able to go for the Seismic Assault here, but I wanted to play uh, my uh, Orcish Bowmaster first, deal damage to Vren, start attacking with Bowmaster. I cycle Forgotten Cave. And now I get my uh, third uh, red mana here, uh, do the Vren ability. Attack my opponent, uh, kill the Vrenin 6 and still have mana left if they uh, go for the creativity. They need to uh, have answer for uh, my Seismic Assault. Unfortunately they have Boseju again. So this was definitely a problem. And they also played uh, Seismic Assault which was another problem. So basically at the moment no removal. They're free to go for the creativity. And I ha at least I have Sheldred, I have Renan 6 to return a Forgotten Cave and cycle it. So I can uh, gain some life here, try to ulti my uh, Vren next turn. Opponent has another removal, thankfully they didn't have creativity here.
Okay, so now I go for the Inti. I have uh, two forgotten caves I can cycle. That is a lot of card advantage. Opponent doesn't use... Um, Opponent has bolt for my inti. I exile the Orcish Bowmaster. I can play next turn, and uh, they they did two damage to Ren Six, so I can't ult it. I had lethal with bolt if I ulted Ren, so it was good play by the opponent. Uh, now I also have a Tear Sunder and uh, Orcish Bowmaster. A lot of stuff here, so uh, yeah, that was it. Opponent concedes. That was win in match two against. Um, against uh, creativity I think it was John creativity okay so match three keeping a decent hand playing all the relevant uh, like matchups uh, amulet uh, creativity uh, then uh, scam then next match was uh, blue red merc tide so basically played all the uh, hardest matchups here my opponent uh, take ring with doughty also uh, they were already on 10 life and I basically didn't have much here and uh, yeah the doughty on uh, field was problem for me and they actually taken the ring with the doughty and that was the reason why they lost this game opponent goes for the one ring in response I go for the bowmaster this time opponent has a removal but they're taking damage from the one ring and uh, on next turn I top deck another bowmaster which sealed the game okay so the opponent now goes to draw tries to draw three cards and I did deal uh, four damage in response with bowmasters leaving my opponent uh, with lethal uh, from the one ring and they don't have uh, any ways to gain life here so they just die from their ring uh, next turn so that is game over it was, uh, yeah, it seemed like taking one ring is just so good, but uh, thankful to the Bowmaster, which is like the best card in universe against the one ring, uh, they just lost to my one ring, which they took with Doughty, so that was the game. Let's check out game two. Okay, so let's see the sideboarding plan for this one. Um, I actually always stream uh, two Ragawans in this matchup. Um, I trimmed one left from the loam. I don't want to draw multiples. I only want to draw one. That's why I trim always one. And only trimming one shell red. So that's basically it. Not a lot of changes. But yeah, definitely some uh, relevant like mo second molten collapse is great. Okay, here I go for uh, the seismic assault. I have running six in my hand. This is like a terrible situation for my opponent. I also have the swamp as one of the basics I need. And yeah, okay. so resolve the one ring. Opponent can't do much about that except play the bowmaster or something like that. But I have the seismic assault on the field, so that is not a problem. Yeah, here opponent has the sheltered and they're leaving one mana open. So yeah, they probably have the undying spell. But this again is not a problem. I have I have multiple ways to kill the sheltered, so I go for the collapse. In uh, they go uh, for the undying spell. I play ex discard three of my lands and kill the sheltered. And after I kill the sheltered, it was like easy game. I have two sheltereds of my own. I find another basic. Uh, play my sheltered. Uh, tap the ring to draw la uh, draw uh, cards, gain life. Opponent goes for the bowmaster, but I have a removal. So after gaining like a bunch of life with sheltered, they are not able to kill it, and this is like a game over. Opponent uh, concedes on the following turn. They had like sheltered here uh, to kill sheltered, but I had another one in hand. So when I play the second one, opponent concedes. So let's check out match four. This was the only game uh, match, uh, the only uh, league I get to play in the last like four days. 
I had issues with my account before that uh, I was sick so I didn't have uh, videos for last uh, week but I'm uh, back in time for a new edition okay so I was playing against a Merc Tide here uh, I got to uh, do the Ragavan Dash on turn, uh, turn 2 this is important because uh, this enables me to go for uh, the one ring on turn 3 and yeah my opponent has a really 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 low chance of uh, succeeding to beat this so they get the uh, delirium for the channeler but yeah that's not enough to beat this hand i also get the seismic assault on the field, uh, do a bolt to kill the channeler and uh, pass the turn. Another one ring in hand, I also have the Sheldred, a lot of stuff. Opponent has a good hand like uh, Shredder into Merktide. That is like pretty decent. I draw a 3 with one ring, uh, play the Assault, deal 4 to Merktide and uh, kill it. Uh, my opponent still has the shredder but yeah this is um, a seismic assault with one ring on the field and the Vrenin 6 can really do wonders so opponent also pays two life there which gets them closer to dead uh, opponent attacks me for three i'm taking three for the ring but i have multiple ways to try to kill my opponent here so i go start the turn with the bowmaster I'm counting that my opponent probably has a counter spell, so I'm going for the Ragavan. I also have a bolt. Uh, I can uh, use mana here to go for the for the life on the loan, but it's not necessary. I draw enough lands with uh, the one ring to finish my opponent without that. So that was the game one. So in games two and three, I think I was like really uh, unlucky. Uh, I, I mulliganed that one into this hand which was like really good I only missed one land, uh, one black land here for this hand to be really really good and I got the blood crypt so I was really happy with this hand passing the turn with the ley line of the void uh, holding the bolt and this time this time yeah this play actually costed me I played around the spell pierce so uh, I used used the I wanted to kill uh, the shredder with bolt, and I got the Vrenin six. Uh, my Vrenin, I didn't have any land, so Vrenin six was kind of useless here. But uh, I can ping like channeler, so it's still good. And yeah, so what costed me this game is just not getting. If I got the land here and played the ring, the game is like over. But my opponent gets the Ragavan and the game gets crazy from that point. So the Ragavan like did actual wonders here. The good well-known Ragavan uh, destruction. They got Inti, I killed the Inti, used uh, Molten Collapse to kill Inti. Because Inti can also get really crazy and kill me quick so... But next turn they got Sheldred, so I regretted killing Inti because uh, I, I, I was not able to kill the Sheldred now and the Sheldred was probably like the only thing that uh, wins the game against me right now because all of their threats suck like Merc uh, Channeler is useless, I can easily uh, kill the Shredder but I can't really deal with the Sheldred and opponent uh, yeah, finds ex exactly sheltered from top so I was also mana screwed so with Vrenin 6 on the field so it was just a terrible game for me and a good one for my opponent okay so let's check out a game 3 uh, playing first here a uh, pretty decent hand uh, so the Merc Tide matchup is usually a tricky one. You have to play. Um, you have to play carefully. You have to be patient 
play around spell pierce and you will see in this game again I missed one opportunity to play around spell pierce and that was the reason I lost yeah so I only said it I said it one time like okay so they didn't have it last time let's try to uh, ignore the spell pierce again and yeah this was it so I had uh, I had a bolt here I decided to uh, take out the channeler channeler is kind of a trickier for me to deal with I have uh, I have Sheldred to block Ragavan. I have I was planning on uh, casting the Sheldred. I changed my mind last second to go for the one ring and risk them having the pierce and of course they had the pierce and now Ragavan on the field you remember last game how the Ragavan destroyed me so it can be very very dangerous and of course this happens again opponent uh, gets the one ring so they didn't play, actually play the one ring because they had the only better play like Merc Tile plus counter spell but they took they took the one ring uh, from the top of my library which was also the, pr the, the problem and the uh, thing they passively did without effort but yeah my opponent had a pretty good hand this one so nothing else I could have done about this so uh, I had uh, that opportunity to resolve the Sheldred that was maybe way to victory I w they didn't have a, they didn't have a removal so Sheldred would do a lot of damage gain me a lot of life it would be problem for them to attack with Merktide so I think it would be a different game if I played the Sheldred on that turn uh, as I planned okay so here I go for the one ring I had protection last turn try to draw uh, into removal here but I didn't get it so that was the game yeah okay so that was uh, that was it uh, the last match was uh, I had to concede the second game so uh, it wasn't really relevant and but uh, it was a fun league uh, already uh, there's already like a league of this deck uh, in my channel like a month ago and I have a uh, I have I think two previous ones when I played with a uh, delighted halfling uh, in this deck also at one point I had uh, I think a couple of grists in but I feel like lately grists uh, have fallen uh, off and uh, they feel like much worse than it did like a few months ago so I definitely didn't want to play Grist and that was uh, actually the reason why I um, removed the halflings so I don't have any three drops I can play uh, with halfling in this list so that is actually why I moved from uh, the halfling in the junt version and it makes much more sense for me to play 16 two drops than uh, than one drop that is not great in the mid-range matchups but is good against uh, counter spells like in the Merktide matchup but uh, not having a relevant three drops like Grist and uh, Fable or whatever like all of that made me go away from the Halfling and I like the Bowmasters a lot more also Molten Collapse has been like really really good uh, of course in this last game if I had Terminate uh, Terminate would be better against Dash Dragon but that's like mostly it uh, it's it's uh, I think it's better against uh, Titan. It's better against Throne. It's better against Scales Hammer. Ability to destroy the one mana permanence is just so good in that matchup. And you have a Salt plus Bolt and a Bowmaster for other stuff. Okay, so that is it. Um, uh, a lot of other stuff I already commented uh, from the sideboard. I commented in the last video. Uh, so some uh, Rhino hate some artifact hate uh, blood moon uh, graveyard hate and this time instead of ancient grudges I put in two cursed totems haven't used them I don't use this card a lot but it's good definitely against Yagmoth it's good against um, like food decks it's good against uh, scales so definitely has some use uh, Yagmoth being so um, 
tier 1 deck right now, main reason to do it, but yeah. Okay, so that is it, hope you like the video, hope you like the gameplay. Uh, I will try to do one more uh, video before I start doing the uh, the new edition stuff. So that is it for today. Uh, goodbye for watching. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye and just a friendly reminder to click like, uh, subscribe, uh, comment in the video. Um, how do you uh, like uh, the Curse Totem edition? Uh, what was your experience of playing this deck? It got a lot of good results lately. Also, I see the Teamer variant from my channel doing uh, pretty well too. Uh, I really, really like this archetype, enjoyed playing a lot, so I'll definitely uh, try to uh, put them on the channel again soon. Okay, so again, uh, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.